Since his activation, Probius has always wanted to prove himself. He may be small, but he made a big difference by warping in a critical pylon during the retaking of Ayr. That's Probius! From the video! The Starcraft video. Greetings, friend. Alright, first things first, the most important thing. That's the dance. It's a pretty lengthy dance. Wait, can, can you even interrupt it? Yeah, okay, dance is interruptible, good. And then the taunt. Taunt is not interruptible, but it's not as long. Uh, first of all, let's take note of the UI changes. We're on the PTR here, and apparently you can keep track of all your allies at the top. And what I'm also curious about is whether or not you can uh, interact with them over there. Uh, is there anything that I can cast on my allies with Probius? I don't think so. So I guess... I guess not. But it's cool to know that you can at least see the HP and mana of your allies. And of the opponent, you can't see it obviously, but you know who they are. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the UI at the bottom is also... I'm gonna just show you the mount button. It's also slightly changed. I feel like it's more minimalistic, and I'm not sure it w was previously Reading showing strength. transparency. Three months already. Thank you, Boons McLean. I don't think it was previously showing uh, transparency here. Now it kind of is, so you can see some other things through it. So it looks pretty, pretty neat. Um, let's take a look at the abilities. Uh, travel speed is 110%, 10% faster than move speed. HP 1310 is fairly low. I think a Nubarak has 1600 and some tanks maybe 1800. Uh, regen is normal, mana is standard as far as I can tell. Although I thought that mana was 500. But I could be wrong. Um, also, I can see that the mana here is um, a smaller font. The mana in HP, I think it has been shrunk to be a little bit more minimalistic. For the minimap... Oh, I didn't know that you had this button here. Uh, for the minimap, I think it's fairly similar as before. Tap screen looks like this. Oh... Looks better. I think it looks better. It is... Is it slightly smaller? It's at least transparent. I'm not sure it was. Of course, I don't see all the heroes right now. Uh, before... Was it clunky to switch between the two? Because they had it at like one button. Like they used to have different buttons and now one. So this looks pretty good. So Boti balances, he does have 600 mana instead of 500, but he doesn't Greetings, gain mana per level. Friend. Well, that makes sense. So here is the talents. Nice. And the death recap, of course. Of course, since I never die, you'll never get to see how that one works, but you have to try it in your own games. All right, the abilities. Disruption pulse, 75 mana, cooldown 3 seconds, fire burst of energy forward, dealing 158 damage to all enemies it passes through, hitting the center of a warp rift, wait for it, will cause it to explode, dealing additional damage. Greetings, That's friend. clear. Now let's look at his auto attack. Low. The range is 3. And the damage is abysmal. So fairly spammable. We'll go to the next one, Warp Rift. Create an unstable Warp Rift at a location that takes 1.25 seconds to arm. Let's build it first. Which then slows nearby enemies by 20%, lasting 9 seconds. Armed warp rifts explode when they hit when hit by disruption pulse, dealing 274 damage to nearby enemies. Okay. Now I don't have mana regeneration, but fear not, I have a trait called Warp in Pylon. 
Inside Pylon Rage, mana regeneration is rapid. Outside of it, non-existent. Also note the uh, animation of gaining mana. You have to hit the center, really. How do you know if you're gonna hit it? It spazzes, does it? Right, or does it al always spaz? No, it always spazzes. Just need to aim properly. Note the animation for mana. It's different, it's new. Uh, pylon. Warp in a pylon that generates a power field and grants vision of the surrounding area. Probius only regenerates mana while inside a power field. That's a fancy word for pylon. Up to two pylons can be active at a time. They can be almost on top of each other. They do not block Probius vision. And finally, Photon Cannon can be warped in. It deals 99 damage per second. Lasts for 11 seconds. Cooldown 15. And must be placed within the pylon power field. Deactivates if it does not have a pylon powering it. The range is just about... It has to be more than 50% inside. There's a cannon. I do not seem to be able to control a cannon, nor interact with it. And that's a cannon for you. You can have one cannon at a time because the cooldown is 15 and the duration is 11. Now let's like, take a look at the abilities. Uh, let's see if he says anything if you try to place it outside. Uh, I was hoping for pee pee pee. Okay. A disruption pulse now returns to Probius 1.25 seconds after reaching its target, dealing 75% damage on the return trip. <laughs> okay. Alright, pretty fancy. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Let's take a look at Warp Resonance. Hit heroes with Warp Rift Explosion. After hitting 10 heroes with Warp Rift Explosions, increase the explosion damage by 100. Since I'm level 1, right now it's 274. That's a pretty decent increase at level 1. Of course, relatively speaking, it'll be less and less reward. Uh, another reward is, after you hit 20 heroes with Warp Rift Explosion, Warp Rift gains one additional charge. So you go from 2 to 3. Greetings, friend. Alright. Two quest charges. No reward until you get the 10 and 20 threshold. What happens if you move ahead of it with your speed boost? I'll wait for it. Uh, yes, by the way, our mount, Worker Rush. Cooldown 40 seconds. Activate to gain an additional 60% movement speed for 5 seconds. Taking damage ends this effect early. That looks very much like the Sentinels from Matrix. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. Alright. I finally gather minerals. Oh, quest charges are now shown in the tab for your team. That's nice. Very nice. Gather minerals. When enemy, enemy heroes and minions drop minerals when killed... Collect them to increase the health of photon cannons by 8 up to 560. Now, the thing is, we don't know how much HP this cannon has. So we don't know how good this is. After collecting 70 minerals, photon cannons deal a quarter more damage. Can see over obstacles and reveal nearby cloaked units. Enemy team sees stacks too, that's great. So he's slowed when walking in and through this. Okay. He's pretty melee with this 3 range. 
Oh, you can't shoot right away because it's still forming the rift. So we right now have eight stacks, which is 64 bonus health. But again, we don't know the base health. Uh, someone asked, what about the, Choose a talent. the disruption pass? If you travel, does it travel faster? Let's see. If you go towards it, does it travel slower? The speed seems consistent. So if you actually shoot it and you run away, oh, you have to shoot it first. It will go all the way to you with high speed. But it looked like it did not actually trace all the way, or does it? Yeah, it does. Okay, all clear. Let's uh, go back to level 1 to keep things consistent. No, actually we need to go to level 20, because I want to try more abilities. Choose a talent. I think Choose we understand his basic abilities, so we'll just take whatever level one. Gain spell armor while photon cannon is alive and powered. Probius gains 30 spell armor. Okay, pretty clear. Seems nice. Worker rush grants an additional 20% passive movement speed while in a power field, and its cooldown is reduced by 40 seconds. Okay, so now we are 130%. Which seems fast, but it looks kind of shit. But this is mount speed. I guess I'm just used to worker rush. 130%. It seems pretty slow, but... This is mount speed? I guess so. Can't lie. And... 200%! Inside. What? Wait. An additional 20% passive. So why is it 200%? Oh... Uh, shouldn't it be... 80? Wait... It should be... It should be 180, right? Wait, 130 plus 60. 10? 20 is 130 plus 60 is 190 it should be 190 it's it's correct here 170 but in a pylon it's 200 <laughs> all right So I gained 30 from the pylon. <laughs> 20 plus 10 plus 60 is 190. Alright, anyway, I think that's 10% too much, but we'll see. Uh, shield capacitor. Probius gains permanent shields equal to 10% of his max health. Shields regenerate quickly as long as he hasn't taken damage recently. Wow, well, you know, that could be said a little bit more clearly. Recently, are we back to vague uh, tooltips? Well, there's only one way to find out. You gotta test it. Okay, so it regenerates in about one and a half second duration if we haven't taken damage for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, two. Okay. So it's a pretty small shield. You need to not take damage for five seconds and you will gain it in about two, 
it's 10% of its max health, which right now is 2700. So we get a shield of about 270. Okay. Moving on to level 7. Increased damage for each target hit. Disruption Pulse deals more damage for each enemy or Warcraft hit up to 40%. So it should do 398. And then it's the next one that does more damage. 398 and 339. And I wonder if it counts in and out. So I'll reset. I'll do something else. Um, so 398. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Choose we, we take this one, but not that one. So we do 398 and 299. Whereas Choose if we have both, it will do more than 299. So it actually remembers the in and out. So the best would be to hit four on the, in, on the first way, like this. And then on the way back, you'll do bonus damage to everything. Well, that seems pretty busted. Of course, I am level 20, even though it says 3 here. But I'm actually 20, so make no mistake about that. Because I actually set it at 20. But that's that's pretty good damage. Looking at the others. Choose a talent. Rift Shock. Hitting an enemy hero with Warp Rift Explosion. Increases Probius' damage against them by 20% for 10 seconds. Greetings, friend. So now I'm autoing for more. 74 instead of 72. Because also, of course, he has 10 armor. Physical armor. So that's a bit hard to test on Arthas. I suppose I should have taken a different opponent, but whatever. I like bullying Arthas. Thanks for the subs, guys. And then finally, tower defense. When Photon Cannon damages an enemy hero, its cooldown is reduced by 1.25 seconds. So maybe we can have more than one cannon. Let's try it out. Choose a talent. Right. Especially since we don't have cooldowns on. Oh yeah. So I guess we can have more cannons. But we need Arthas to come over here. The preview is still going to come up. The patch preview. Anyway, this sh should be cool. All right, weaponized pylons. Increase the size of pylon power fields and allow them to attack enemies within it for 241 seconds per, uh, damage per second, last 10 seconds. And pylons also gain permanent shields equal to 50% of their max health. That will prevent them from getting poked down. So we take that, they have shields now. And that also means they are attacking. Wait a minute. Okay, anytime now. I allow you, but it's a pacifist. Greetings, friend. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, I have to press R? Okay. Ah, <laughs> I get it. That sounds like Star Wars. So you just press R and then they start attacking. Okay, I saw this in the trailer. <laughs> All right. The range of the pylon attack seems to be larger than their power range. See? So is this a better Gazlo? Oh, cool. Look at this. And also this looks pretty nice. Nice, nice UI. And you can have your kill streak counter right here. All right, let's la take a look at the other heroic. Now, you know what? Let's first look at the upgraded heroic. Probius can now have three active pylons and increase the damage of pylon overcharge. All right, seems legit. 
That sound though. Well, that was rather entertaining. It was rather entertaining. Okay, let's reset Thanos now sound. and look at the other stuff. Nullgate. We'll cast it first. Greetings, friend. So it looks like this. And inside of it, things take damage. Project a barrier of negative energy in the target direction that lasts four seconds. Enemies who touch the barrier take 146 damage per second and are also slowed by 80% for as long as they remain in contact with it. It has a 40 second cooldown. It's like this. As you can see, Arthas is not technically in it. It is a fairly thin hitbox, I suppose. But that's how it works. The upgrade then, to take a quick look, is called Gatekeeper. No gate lasts indefinitely if either end is without, within a power field. Okay, that's not how I aimed, but I probably did something wrong. So that can be pretty funny to walk around it and uh, set all kinds of traps. Good luck uh, actually Enemy reaching me. <laughs> okay. The cooldowns for the heroics are 40 seconds or 80 seconds. Now, I do wonder what does Greetings, it mean friend. if either end are in. Love the streams. Great castle at Western. This would be in. But is this in? And is this in? And, it, and we cannot see the duration. This seems to be in. Because it's in a power field. But is this in? No. I guess this is. I'm guessing it's a fairly forgiving location. Oh, thanks, dude. Thank you, Blarkman. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. And when it does get destroyed, it gets destroyed immediately. Yes, I do agree that the pylon overcharge should say activate to attack enemies rather than allowing. But anyway, that's a small thing. They may fix that. Alright, let's take a look at the level 13 and 16. Pylon's power field grant allies heroes. Allied heroes 20% increased attack damage. So keep in mind that attack damage is not just auto attacks, but it's also spell damage. It's it's damage in general. I think. Well we can test it easily enough. This one should do 418. It still does 418. Alright, it's actually only attack damage. 90, 75, 90, 75. Okay, it's only auto attack. <laughs> Don't keep that in mind. Alright. Pilot's power field grants allies, allied Three heroes ten percent increased spell power Five and two already? mana per second. Keep being awesome. Thank you, Functimus. And finally, pylon power field grants allied grants allied heroes. That's a tongue twister for me. Sixty-eight shields per second, up to two seventy-four. Shields persist for four seconds Greetings, after friend. exiting pylon power field. Don't probe me, bro. Great Choose job this weekend. Really enjoyed the event. Thank you, uh, NYG. So I got the shield. I leave. The shield goes away in four seconds. Okay. Checks out. And also, you gain it over time. Alright. Now we look at 16. Enemies continue to be slowed for three and a half seconds after their last contact with the warp rift. But it's a 20% slow that lasts nine seconds the warp rift and this one would linger three and a half second linger for a 20 percent slow is something that i'm gonna say thank you but no thank you i would not invest a level 16 talent in a 20 percent three and a half second slow unless my life depended on it wait is abathur still here abathur isn't here but the locusts keep coming what Rigged. Alright. 
And the second one. Enemies are slowed more the closer they are to the center of Warp Rift. Up to a maximum slow of 60%. Well, we're gonna have to test that. Because that sounds interesting. Oh, shit. Don't kill the Warp Rift. Okay. Seems, seems okay. Seems like gravity. We'll reset. Enemies hit by a warp rift explosion are knocked away from the center. Let's try that out. That's a pretty forgiving hitbox. Great job at the Western Clash Grubby. Will you try Chogol on the PTR? Thank you. Uh, maybe. Let's see, can I put two Warp Rift and explode the buff? Thank you, man, for great streams. I enjoyed you casting Gera Cup. Is it possible to see you commenting Dub C3 games more often? Thank you, Shakara. It's, uh, it's possible. We're both open to it. Uh, what's this? Uh, Neo and me. Interference. Enemy heroes hit by Warp Rift detonations have their spell power reduced by 35% for 3 seconds. Seems cool, and we don't need to test it, because actually, it's untestable. I think the best one are Repulsor and Interference. Though in my experience, Interference never really... Like, this kind of thing, reduced spell power, never really gets used yet. Maybe it's because of the lack of visual confirm. And then finally, level 20. Shoot him up. I thought Robocop taught us not to. Anyway, hitting a warp rift with disruption pulse causes four additional pulses. Oh, I think I'm dying. Four additional pulses that deal 50% damage. Yo, what's up, Tim? Thank you very much. Hope you had a good uh, flight. Did you end up upgrading, dude? Hitting a warp rift with disruption pulse ca causes four additional pulses that deal 50% damage to be fired from the impact location in different directions. Greetings, additional pulses do not benefit from echo pulse or particle accelerator. Well, we're gonna have to test that because I got no idea. What? Okay, I guess we need to test it differently, like this. Yay, RNG! <laughs> well, if you thought Arsenal is a shit talent for Vala... <laughs> well, it travels pretty far, but it's, it's fairly unreliable. <laughs> Arsenal version 0.2. Anyway, let's quickly move on from that one. Probius loop. That sounds familiar. Whenever a rift explosion hits two or more enemy heroes, create a new warp rift in the same location. Of course, this is untestable because you cannot play against multiple heroes in this mode. But creating new warp rift seems pretty good. A killing blow. Okay. All right. Choose Lost Vikings. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys are so clever. Let's see. Uh, Vikings. There we go. All right. Let's prepare the warp rift. Oh my. Come here, Rexar. And Misha. Um, I I mean, I guess Vikings was a better idea. But we've seen it, right? <laughs> 25. That asks for a www or does it? Doesn't it? It doesn't. I honestly think would be the April Fool's joke this year. Lol. Greetings, friend. Oh, this is nice. Enjoy, Probius. Time for nap. 
Nice! With the returning disruption pulse. Thank you very much, Trixie. With the uh, returning disruption pulse, you can have several warp rifts. Oh, by the way, I still have the cooldown thing. But yeah, anyway, you can do this. Wait. Oh, yes, I didn't hit two heroes. <laughs> well done. And a miss lane. I think we kind of get it. I think we get it. We're probably Grandmaster Probius by now. Killing spree. All right. Interesting. Oh, 